So there's the big Disney balloon. So where are we today, Ashley? At Disney Springs. And we are coming here to give you a review of Morimoto Asia restaurant in Disney Springs. Let's see. While we were here, like we said, we saw this balloon up here. Let me see if anybody will wait back. I'm leaving. I doubt it. You're in. The, we're in the me? parking garage. They're Can not they going to see you. They They're not going to see you in the parking garage. Crazy. Not getting any waves. Well, we will see how this goes. So we have the pork dumplings. Yes. We're in Little Asia. You try first. I can't do it with the pork. It's fine. But can you do it with chopsticks? No. However, I accidentally broke it with my fork, so... We are manhandling these. Yeah. That's butchered. What is the sauce? Dim sum. How is it? Very good. You didn't even, you didn't even taste it, you were already saying very good. Well, don't mind. So, would you rate this? Well, I know you're not going to be a big fan of it, because it doesn't have the crispy bottom. So? I'm not talking about my rating, I'm talking about yours. I'm going to give it a 7.5. 7.5. Best dumpling you've ever had? Where is the best dumpling you've ever had? Back at Germany. All right. Alex's... My turn. Pork dumpling review. I'm going to do this right with the chopsticks. Hopefully. Form is probably not the best, but we'll make it work. Oh, I had it too. <laughs> I could use the fork, but I choose not to. Uh, uh, You're not going to be able to get uh, any of them. And I thought I was going to do this right the right way. <laughs> uh, and you just put a hole in that one. Yeah, now you see why I did what I did. I'm going to give up on that. And then, uh, oh, you actually got it, though. Oh, sauce. you're going to dip it? Well, you some. I usually like a crispy bottom, but it's not bad. No, it's good. I like them crispy, so it does deduct a couple points on that. This side's really good, though. I give it an 8. Could be a 9 or a 10 if it was crispy, but not bad. I do like the basket they come in. Yeah. It's a nice. It's, I really do like it. Take home. So, how do you feel about your, your ambiance? I like it. It's very pretty. You got the kitchen right behind you? Yes. There are lovely chandeliers behind you. Behind you. Insert. Everybody keeps walking around. They have tons of dishes. Big menu. There's ducks on the wall if you look over Ash's right shoulder. We have the beef woman. Woman. Not sure what's in it. I'm not a big pepper fan, so I'm guessing those are peppers. That's okay. So I'm guessing they're going to end up with my, my ramen. They will end up with your ramen. Um, what did you put else do you want? What? What'd you get? Um, I got duck ramen. Duck ramen? I can't really tip it. that piece of duck in it. Yep. All right. I can't really tip it. You can't tip it? No. Alright, take it from your side then. So this is my duck ramen. It even comes with a lovely spoon that Alex is touching. You're welcome. I'm about to get all those red peppers, because Alex does not like peppers. Alright, so who's going first? You can. Alex's... Beef lo mein. Beef lo mein. Not ramen. Not ramen. Beef lo mein. Not sure what's on it. Once again, I usually like beef lo mein, so... Very yeah, good, thank you. Thank you. Arugula. Yeah. Um, yeah, I don't really have anything else besides that. It's good. Probably not my favorite kind of food in the world, but that's okay. Not the I best mean, beef lo mein you've had? Not the best beef I mean, though bigger chunks of like meat in here are kind of cooler, but um... Well, it would also probably help if you mix it a little bit. Alright, so there are. Alright, we'll go round two on this. I actually found a piece. 
I didn't think there was in there. Better now? Better. Yeah, whatever this green stuff is. Creamy? Um, no. Asparagus? Not so reward. It was a green. Make sure I do the onion. green still. Or a little more cider. Oh, it's nicely. It's so much ramen. This is duck ramen? Yes, the duck ramen. Duck ramen. How do you feel about it? I'm very excited. Are you excited for it? Yes. Alright, let me know how it is. I'm sure your mom and dad would like this too. So what is that like? Parsley? Um, cilantro. Cilantro. What else is in it? Are there um, pieces of duck? Green onions, duck pieces, ramen. Okay. Um, So what's the rating? I'm gonna give it an 8.5. I really like it. Uh, and that's ramen. Yes, it's ramen. Warm ramen, not cold yes, ramen. ramen. Not cold ramen. Not so we would, no, you can go at the same time. No, I'm just kidding. So what did we get here? We read something chocolate on the menu. For and our original meal for two something. was apparently too much for two people. So, we got this. It is a lot easier to eat between two people. Fried Oreo? Yeah. We'll figure it out. Uh, you eat it first? Oh, I'm eating first. Everything first. Everything I, first. I'm starting over here with the Oreo. Is it a fried Oreo? Uh-huh. Or is it fried duck? It's a fried Oreo. Fried Oreo? Good. As expected. You get a nice fancy spoon. It's a flower. It is a flower. Oh, it's a flower. It is probably edible though. No, it is definitely edible. Oh wait, that's on top of a bar thing. Okay. Ice cream. You don't want to eat the, you don't want to eat the, you want chili? You like it? Yeah, it's gelato. It's really good. Well, no, on top of the jelly is, is, so there's stuff under the jelly, that's under the jelly. I don't know. Let's find out. It's quite, it's quite a treat. What is it? I don't know. It looks like, it is it like, like chocolate pudding. pudding? Yeah, it's chocolate pudding. Yeah. Wow. You don't know what chocolate pudding is. No, but it's not chocolate pudding. You right. try it. No, I'm not gonna try it. You gotta give me a rating first. How is it? I don't know. I've never had a dessert. You wanna come back? Yeah, I'll come back. Shoot, neither did I. Fried Oreo. It's good, right? You know, it's a fried Oreo. It's not very hard <laughs> It's not hard it to mess good. up. The rest of that's mine, right? Fancy spoon. Fancy spoon again. So, no, that part's the bark. You get ice cream. It's chocolate ice cream. It's gelato, actually. Thank you. Thank you. Gelato, orange. Oh, no, I don't know what it is. Orange, orange jelly. Orange jelly. And then take a scoop of just the without the orange jelly. Surprisingly, it goes together very well. I know. Pudding. I wasn't gonna try to get that until we ate the ice cream. Mm, this is the bark. Yeah. yeah. I mean, I like it. It wasn't bad. It was like 11 bucks. It? For 11 dollars for dessert. Like, there's something different. Something to try. I wouldn't say something that's like amazingly for like people that are very picky, but give it a nine. I mean, nine? it's good. I think for what you pay for it, you get the fried Oreo, you get this. Yeah. Serves two people. It's good. I'm not gonna lie. You yeah. got pudding, you got chocolate, like ice cream. Nice. So we couldn't finish it. Only for one person, but we couldn't finish it. It's good. 
Did you like that? I like that. I was gonna eat the apple flower, but I decided it's it. Still has a stem. Lift it over. I was gonna eat it until I saw that. So as we are leaving the Orange Garage in Disney Springs, I'm trying to whip this turn as nicely as possible. Alex, All right, we did it. Yes. Do you have any final thoughts on Morimoto? So it's good. Personally, I'm not the biggest Chinese fan. I'm down here in Florida. I guess I were originally from Mass. Um, I feel like the Chinese food there. There are a lot of good spots I used to like for like chicken, teriyaki, or boneless spare ribs and stuff like that. So I mean, they didn't really have those kind of options. I thought it could have been a little bit better. You also stained your shirt. I also did stain my shirt because that was With not very good. With your beef fun. lo mein. I'm not sure if it's between the beef lo mein or the um, pork dumplings. Oh, pretty pretty sure it was the pork beef lo mein. Beef dumplings. Beef lo mein. Pork dumplings with dim sum sauce. However, I think you stained it on the beef lo mein. Which is possible. But Which is more than likely. I mean... Personally, if I'm giving an overall review, I don't think it's something that you have to, definitely can't miss. Um, I think it's good. Like I said, there's not really a lot of Chinese places here in Disney, but I, I think they also just don't really do them as well. If you're from out of state, you're probably going to get your hopes very high up, which doesn't shock me because my hopes were high up, but it's it's good. I mean, it's definitely something where if you're in the mood for Chinese and you, you are down here, it's worth trying out. But otherwise, no, I, I would say it's not something that you have to worry about if you don't go then. And it's down in Disney Springs. It's not that often like yeah. people spend an entire day at Disney Springs I mean, and it then was decide good, you're hungry. The, the creepy part is there were some um, the, the ducks hang on the wall you can still see the bills. Um, yeah, you didn't like the fact that you could that, see their faces. I was not my fan. I have a weird weird kind of habit where I don't like to eat stuff if I can see its face beforehand so that was that was a little strange for me because you can see the bill and everything as you can probably see in some of uh, the shots we got. Overall, atmosphere was nice. I kind of wish we got it to sit up in the upper deck. Uh, but I don't think that was open yet. I don't think that was an option yet. Like I said, where we were, it was kind of a little a little crazy because we were in the middle of all the rest of the people, kind of the bigger tables as well. But, um, I mean, overall, atmosphere was nice. It, it was nice inside. Like I said, it would have been nice to go upstairs. But I know they also had sushi going on upstairs as well. So... Neither of us. I don't think we're gonna try that sushi. anytime soon, but it wasn't a bad, it wasn't a bad experience overall. Like I said, they do accept um, the tables in Wonderland, which for you, those of you that do not know what that is, it's basically a annual pass holder type discount slash program that you can pay for. Um, you pay 150 bucks, it'll get you a 20% discount at not all Disney kind of restaurants, but most of the Disney restaurants. So Morimoto is on the menu. Um, wasn't 100% sure if more emo if it's on for the regular 10% annual pass holder discount, but um, yeah, we'll be working on actually to see if that's actually worth it. To be honest with you, for right now, if you aren't, gonna if you ask, don't live in if Florida, if you don't live here, it is probably not worth it. If you are an annual pass holder already, because you can just save 10% at most of the places as well. We're still working on the math for that. I think we started last month. Yes, last month goes for a year. They usually give you an extra month as well, kind of how it works. Um, I think we still have to spend about, like I said, 150 bucks to get it, I believe. And it's 175 if you are not a pass holder and you're just a Florida resident. But yeah, we still would have to save our, I think, $100 to break even with what we paid. Um, but it hasn't even been a, but hasn't it's even only been, been a couple six months. months. Um, we've used it a couple times. I mean, the, the big, big ticket items is that it also works on alcohol as well. I probably didn't mention that. Um, works on alcohol, which is really good if you want to have like a night out um it also works up to 10 people it's kind of tough for us to make it more worthwhile with two people but um if you have 10 people as long as the person that's on the card is the person that's paying discount will be applied to that as well so that that is actually really good if you have like family coming over to come to disney with you yeah so i mean it's overall i'd say it's worth it um if you are going to be going quite often i know me and ashley try to go two to three times a month yeah two to three times a month. Um, like I said, I mean, it's nice. The one thing that I didn't mention earlier is that there is going to be an 18% gratuity included, but if you're like me, you're just going to be tipping 20% on normal anyway. So that'll automatically be included. Um, some people, it might be a deal breaker, it might not be, but it makes it easier for you. They just round up a couple bucks if it's like, you know, up to the nearest dollar or just add a dollar and some change just to get up to the 20% anyway. But 
That is one thing they will add on the 18% gratuity regardless of what party size you are. So that could be an issue for some people, but not really us. Service day was good. I don't yes. think we had any issues with No, we didn't. She was actually really nice because we were going to get one of the bigger meals. The, it was a uh, dessert for two. Yes. And she warned she had us. mentioned to us that it would not have worked for two. It's more for four, four, parties of four. Three to four people. And the one that is we had that was probably not said, didn't say anything about splitting it. That one was, uh, yeah, that one wouldn't just work as easily because um, we barely ate all that. We had a couple bites left. I mean, it was good. Not something that I'd like all the time, but it was good. It was fun to try. Correct. It's something different, I guess, is what you kind of look at when you come down here. Location of Morimoto, I mean, it's right. It's right across from where Blaze and Sprinkles is. It's right across from Raglan so Road. So it's easy to get to. I mean, we, we parked in the Orange Garage. It was pretty easy to get it's to. It's a straightforward walk. It's not out of the way. It wasn't very crowded around 4. Um, they still consider it technically lunch. Yes. So, I mean, we were still eating lunch, I guess. Yes. But, I mean, Even though we're considering it dinner. Yeah, it was technically it's, dinner to us. Discount still five. Now, one thing on that program is sometimes some places won't allow Tables in Wonderland to work because they consider it lunch. There is the Walt Disney World website. If you Google Tables in Wonderland and go to Walt Disney World's website, there's a drop down. You can read more, and then you can click on the 100 participating restaurants. I'll give you a good list of what's kind of available. So stuff like Uga's Cantina, the newer ones aren't really on that list yet. I think. Something Anything like else you wanted to talk about? All right, so we'll go over overall review. You liked it? Yes, I did enjoy it. I thought... Would you go back? Yes, I would. But I How also... How often would you go back? Not very often. Okay. Not, it's not like something that like I'd be going back to it's within three months. It's not a California girl. If you are somebody that probably is vacationing down here, probably would leave that off your list because I know when we used to come down here, we used to have a set amount of places we wanted to try and then other ones that were staples like... Be our guest. Be our guest. We always used ha to go have, to. Have an opinion on that. We'll go back and we'll probably do a review on California that. Grill, California Grill, which we Grill. will I definitely go. Do well, I don't have an issue at much some on that point. One. That one's actually not bad. They're usually good. They also because of the wait staff. That one time. They change the seasonal menu, so I do. Oh. I do like the cocktails when they do have the seasonal cocktails. The Christmas. Christmas has a peppermint one, so that's usually good. Um, yeah. So Morimoto. I mean, we didn't try any of the alcohol there. I can't really attest to that. Nothing really seemed to jump out at me where I really wanted it. It's something that, what was it, Banana Foster? Yeah. Some Banana Foster. Dessert alcohol Dessert alcohol drink. that they had but that seemed interesting, but you're uh, I, it, was, it didn't sound good enough to make me want to get it. A lot of their drinks have different forms of sake in it, so if you know you're not a fan of sake, you're, you're probably not going to like any of the drinks they have to offer. Correct. Like, even their sangria, I read it, and it had, had sake, sake in it. Yeah, because you can get a picture. I think it was about 36 bucks. It feeds about four four people. Yeah. Not feeds, but you can, it's, it says it's enough for like three to four people. <laughs> yeah. Wasn't bad. I would say pricing on that wasn't bad. It could have been a lot worse, but it, it was good. I, I would say that, that that would be good for people that are looking to have that. I don't know. I thought it was cool the fact that they had the, the dumplings inside of the little basket thing. Know. That's not something you see very often. No, I agree. I think it'd come up like it was a nice... Oh, yeah. It was a nice little touch that, that you don't that. typically get from where oh, this is why. we'd usually go to get Chinese food. Yeah, I mean, I think I think it was good. What's something comparable that we usually go to? Is there anything else that we usually have gotten Asian food in here in Disney? I mean, we've gone to Japan. Not, not the same Nine type Dragons. Of, nine it's Dragons, not the same. I guess, is comparable. But even then, it's not, still, it's not the same still. I personally still. liked nine dragons as well but it's a different type of food so definitely don't feel like if you go to nine dragons you can't try out more moto but like i said overall i think there's probably better places in disney i mean there's a lot of parks and there's a lot of places to eat in downtown disney as well what's ash so what's ashley's final verdict i liked it morimoto if someone's coming on a seven day vacation or coming for two weeks out of the year would that be on your would that be on your two within your two weeks to eat out no yeah, but if you were down here, would you if, try it if out? You, if you live down here, then yeah, definitely go go give it a shot. Go try it. 